Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be doing another application of the C-Median. Uh, this is an IMO shortlist 2003. We are given three distinct points, A, B, C, along a line in that order. And let omega be a circle passing through A and C whose center does not lie on A, C. So let me first go ahead and create this circle. And let's discuss its properties next. So we have our circle. And so I have my line. And obviously, I know the line does not go through the center of that circle. So I need to be careful there. So, um, so probably somewhere here. And I know my two points are given as A and C. So that's where the circle goes through, A and C. And I know I have another point as well. So let's call that point B somewhere here, I guess. Notice that the center of the circle probably um, so somewhere here. Um, so that's the center of my circle O. OK, and we also know that there will be some tangencies. So at point A, obviously, so we will have, a, well, before I do the tangency, in fact, I know the tangency will go through that line. Uh, so somewhere they will meet in on, somewhere on that line, which is the perpendicular bisector of AC. So therefore, I can draw a more educated uh, tangency. So somewhere here, probably. And then I will do something similar here. So boom. So that's where the two um, tangencies uh, the tangents uh, to circle omega, capital omega, or capital ga gamma, I guess, capital gamma, will meet uh, each other. So the, the, the tangent to gamma at A and at C will meet at that point P, as claimed in the problem. And let gamma meet the segments PB at Q. So, um, when we draw the segment PB, let's draw it with a different color. So that segment over here. So we are we know that that point here will be Q. And finally, uh, we would like to prove that the intersection of the bisector of angle AQC. So let's go ahead and draw these uh, lines. So that's AQ. And that's QC, so something like that. So the, 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 the question again is to show that the bisector of angle AQC, uh, the intersection of the bisector of angle AQC and the line AC, which will be, so let's first figure that out. So let's call that point as R. Where, where is that point? So how can I draw the angle bisector? So this exactly fits the description, the definition. This construction fits the definition of the C-median. Obviously, the C-median here is uh, PB. And PB is, is symmetric with respect to the angle bisector. Um, well, it's symmetric to the median with respect to the angle bisector. So let's claim this point is M, the midpoint. So QM is the median. So QM and QB are symmetric with respect to the angle bisector. And no surprise, the angle bisector will hit that point over here. So your ang our angle bisector will be, um, uh, let's draw a different color again. So it will be that line, that green line, which will go through that bottom point here. So we have that very nice angle bisector. And on both sides of the angle bisector, we have the C-median line QB and the median QM. And our uh, bisector, so if you call this point as K. Uh, so um, in fact, I can do even better. Let's describe this, uh, this intersection point, which is so important for this problem. Let's call it as R. So let's read the question again. Prove that the intersection of the bisector of AQC. So the bisector of AQC is obviously QR and the line AC, which is here. So therefore, we are talking about the point R here. Does not depend on the choice of gamma. So what this says is that I can change, I can make these circles, um, um, the circle gamma smaller and larger. As long as it goes through the points A and C, that point R is fixed. So the, the point R, which is the intersection of the angle bisector of AQC, and AC is fixed. 
So it's independent of um, of the selection of the circle. So for that reason, we need to. So because the, the result is independent of the circle, I need to be able to. Uh, show the location of R. Let's focus on that particular, uh, because we know that QR is the angle bisector. QR is the angle bisector here. So let me write. So we can go ahead and apply the angle bisector theorem, which is simply AR over RC equals AQ over QC. All we need to do is now to show that this expression AQ over QC does not depend on the circle gamma. So let's start with that expression here. So AQ over QC, uh, this is, we will just like in the proof, the first proof, we will repeatedly apply the law of sines. So AQ over QC can be, you can focus on triangle QAC. So therefore on that triangle, applying the law of sine, we realize that AQ over QC is equal to angle, sine of angle ACQ divided by sine of angle CAQ. And furthermore, um, those angles, they, are, they subtend the same arc AQ. So for, for instance, consider angle ACQ. So angle ACQ subtends the arc AQ. But then when you look at uh, angle PAQ, that also subtends the same arc. So therefore, this angle over here, angle PAQ, is in fact equal to angle ACQ because they are both um, subtending the same arc. They are both intercepting the same arc. And notice that that's true because PA is a tangent here. So therefore, I'm replacing um, the sine ACQ with sine PAQ. And I can do something similar for the denominator. So I will replace it, angle CAQ, CAQ with angle PCQ here. Uh, so angle P C Q. And now what I will do, I will apply the law of sine one more time. Uh, actually, in the numerator, I will apply the law of sine to triangle PAQ. And then at the denominator, I will apply to triangle PCQ. As a result, I will get the following result. So applying law of sine to triangle PAQ, sine angle PAQ is equal to PQ over AP times the sine of angle AQP. Now I can apply law of sine to triangle PCQ as well. As a result, I will get PQ over uh, CP equals oops, CP uh, times, sorry, sine of uh, angle uh, CQP, which in turn is equal to after you make the simplifications, uh, obviously the PQs will cancel out. And when you look at AP and PC, they are equal, so they will also cancel out because we have equal tangent here. Um, so therefore, we have sine AQP, which in turn sine AQP is equal to sine AQB because they are supplementary angles. So sine, I will replace it with sine of angle AQB. In a similar way, sine CQP, so sine CQP uh, is equal to sine CQB because those two angles are supplementary as well. Finally, applying the law of sines one more time. This time on the numerator, you are applying it to triangle AQB here. Uh, and in the denominator, we are applying triangle CQB and we get the following expressions. But then observe that uh, AQ... Uh, 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 I meant to say, observe that angle ABQ and CBQ, huh? those angles are simply supplementary angles. Huh? So this angle ABQ and CBQ, that one over here, they are simply supplementary angles, so their signs are equal. So therefore, ultimately, the result that I got, let me just slide the plate slightly here, so a little bit over here. What we finally get is that we are able to write this expression AQ over QC as AB over CB divided by, uh, sorry, AB over CB multiplied by QC over AQ. But then moving that expression here onto the left hand side, we will get a square of AQ over QC. Therefore, finally, 
the ultimate result will be that a q over q c after we take the square root we will get that a q over q c is simply equal to the square root of um of a b over c b so and that actually solves the problem. So we were able to independently represent AQ over CQ, which is in turn equal to AR over RC, which defines the location of R in terms of AB and CB only, in terms of the initial three given points, ABC. So remember that we, are, we were given the three point on that line, and then we started our construction of the circle, which you can construct any way you want. So therefore, the whole thing, the whole location of R is independent of how you construct your circle. So what I would recommend for all of you guys is to, uh, on, on GeoGebra, construct a drawing. And then by increasing and decreasing this, uh, the, the radius of gamma, so long as O does not, um, uh, does not uh, meet M, so by just moving the location of the center O here, you can uh, see that the location R will not change. So that solves our problem. Hope to see you in our next video.